Hey guys, what's up? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, I'll show you how you can do stereo roto inside of Silhouette FX. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay everyone, so finally getting a so many requests from my subscribers, my followers, I am finally decided to create this video and guys let me tell you something that don't skip this video because I will show you the entire process step by step. Okay, so talking about Silhouette, I am using Silhouette 2020.5.6 version and license is provided by Boris FX. So thank you Boris FX for providing us this Silhouette license. So guys, now talking about Stereo Roto, we need a left and a right footage. You can see this, this is a left plate and this is a right plate. So first of all, you have to make a session. Just click the left one and go to the session and go to the new session and you can change the name like Stereo Roto. So guys, now you can see the all settings are by default same. It's nothing new, but for Stereo Roto, we need to add our right plate as well. To add the right plate, we have to click this left plate here and go down. You can see the right plate option is none. So just click here and import the right one. So when you select the right plate successfully, you can see some settings will change here in this area. So this is a left plate. This will be a right plate and these other tools are separate viewing option and these other option I'll come later. Now to toggle between left and right, the shortcut is shift one and two. The one is for left. You can see when I'm changing, it will go to right plate. And when I'm clicking the shift one, it will go to the left plate. So this is a basic toggle option for left and right and shift 3 for this left and right for side by side and this is our stereo split mode which is like top bottom part this is a basic lock settings which you can lock your left or right plate and these are the three options I'll come later okay now we have to go to this left plate now basically what we have to do the basic idea is we have to do our basic simple roto in our left plate now why I'm doing it in left plate because in most of the time we have to do our basic roto on our hero plate now what is hero plate the hero plate is our default plate like our main plate in production most of the times we are using our left plate as our hero plate but sometimes we are using the right plate as well the basic idea is we have to do our roto on left plate and then we have to match those roto on our right plate so now we have to start doing our roto now you have to click this roto node double click here now you can see that our object list is popped up here now we have to do our simple roto so I'm starting with this window now we are in a left plate and now I'm doing a basic simple roto something like I have to track this window here so I'm just selecting it something like that and then shift T and then it's very basic mocha tracking. So guys, now you can see I have successfully tracked and you can see I'm renaming the layer to like window 01 and after did my track, I have added a basic custom shape because as you know, the basic object is a little bit bumpy. So I have changed my shape. So this is my final shape. Now, if you notice, the track is completely done and the shape is also stick his own space. Now the stereo roto part. For stereo roto, we have to do a very simple thing. Just click this layer, right click and stereo and then duplicate. Now what happened, this layer will be duplicate. But if you notice, this area is R and this area is left. So it means this layer is basically for left plate and this layer will be your right plate. Now the most important step, you have to follow this. Whenever you are doing stereo roto, you have to make sure about your naming conventions of your layer because after some times you might be confused about your layers because every time you have to do it in your left plate and then you have to match it on your right plate. So in my suggestion is always make Make sure your layer naming should be proper now you have to just lock this left plate this is the most most important part now we have to go to our right plate to go you can press shift 2 now we are in left plate now you can see this is a basic distortion between left and right so I'm toggle between 1 and 2 so now what happened you can see this much area is our basic distortion now to match this it's very easy to match now you have to click this option this option is exactly called stereo align option the shortcut is shift 4 so now when you click the shift 4 you can see something weird in front of your screen something like that some bumps and all basically what you have to do you just have to match those two plates by using very simple navigation keys or you can use your mouse cursor as well now I'm using the navigation key left to match those plates 
now something like that now when you zooming here you can see this bump area is completely going invisible now you can see this is very smooth so when you click more left or right you can see the bump is visible but you have to match this bump so now you can see this is completely smooth it means like your left plate and your right plate positions of your shapes is exactly on the same space so now just turn this off to check this you just have to press shift 1 and 2 now this is a basic toggle now you can see our shape is right now in exactly on their own space. Now talking about some fixes, if you notice this area, when you toggle between these areas, I have some done some mistakes when I draw this shape because this area shape is not proper on its own space. To make this proper happening, just turn off this lock, go to the left option and now whenever you will change anything on your left plate, it will automatically update on your right plate as well. And now when you go to the right plate, you can see the distortions are exactly same. Now talking about these characters, now this have so much perspective like head is moving and all. Now how you can do this? Now the most important part of the stereo roto is also like you, you can't do a shapes like VFX roto, like you can't make a big shape like a head then a ear. You have to create each and every shapes like part by part. Now to create this head area shape, I'm taking a new layer and I'm taking a B spline and I'm taking a shape something like that. So I'm just showing you the shapes divisions like how you can do the shapes for stereo roto and then you have to make another shape another layer. Yes guys, this is the most important part. So I'm creating the another shape and it's something like that. So guys, now you can see our shape division is something look like this and all the shapes I am done in separate, separate layers. These all shapes are right now all in different, different layers. But you have to match all those layers on separate, separate way on your right plate. So basically it's a simple way like right click, stereo and then duplicate. Now let's come to these three options here. This option is as we all know our main stereo align option. But now this option is very, very cool option because I am always using this option when I'm doing the stereo roto. When you click this, you can see this is an anaglyph option. Now if you guys have any anaglyph stereo glasses, then put on that and see on your screen, you can feel the exact 3D depth. You can pause this video and enjoy your 3D depth. Now this option is a basically 3D preview. So when you click this, this is a basic 3D preview, nothing something like that. So how I got this amazing stereo plate. So this is a very, very cool secret. So if you really want to know that how I can create, in fact, how you can create your very own stereo plate for practice purpose or for any other purpose, then definitely you have to comment on this video comment box. Then I will create a video based on this topic that how you can create your very own stereo clip for your use. So guys, this is the process of doing a stereo roto inside of Silhouette and I think I can deliver the knowledge to you successfully and I think you can understand this all things from me. And if you really love my these videos and others videos, then don't forget to like, comments and share and also do subscribe and for more video notification, press the bell button as well. Now guys, if you still not follow us on our social media handles like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter, just go and follow us over there because I will update so many things on there. And guys, I will see you in my next video. Till then, have fun, stay healthy, keep rocking, keep watching VFX World.